Hello. Well, all right. So, uh, I feel awkward talking in my office here with, uh, people at home. I don't even know which microphone this is coming through. There we go. I want to make sure this is actually working. Doing this is a lot more difficult than I would have imagined that it would be, because in my head, it's a lot easier than one would normally make it out to be. So here I am on uh, this channel, where I did a couple uh, trying to get used to talking to a camera exercises before, um, as you can see. Uh, however, um, I decided that this would be the channel that I would start, uh, going on because it's my, uh, main viewing things channel. And I think I have a very pretty, uh, interesting, uh, viewership history. I have a bunch of different types of subscriptions and, uh, I don't know, I just think, uh, if I can stop saying, uh, this is really just a practice, I think. Um, basically the premise of this is if I have an idea, I want to document it in some way, and every time I go to write down an idea, it actually gets warped and I'm too slow at typing it, and then my brain goes ahead and says, whoop, we're, we're past that idea, I'm thinking about something else now, and... I don't know, I just feel like this is a way I could have it and be like, oh, I know about how long I was streaming for when I said this, and I can go back and uh, take that idea and run with it. And one of the things that I've always wanted to do was uh, make content, because I've done video content on another channel uh, back when I was 16. Uh, uh, if I, I'm sorry, I don't know if I'm showing too much. I don't think so. Um what I called Blue Pebbles, which is uh, my uh, cat's name. It's because I'm not very original and I don't know how to come up with a uh, channel name for a uh, gaming video, uh, whatever. Um, I used to, for a long time, uh, I was known as Thoroughbred for some reason. Uh, I don't know, I just wanted it to be a pun of some kind because I'm not very original and... I don't know, I just felt like Thoroughbred would be cool and name it Bread. And I had a whole, uh, I had an avatar that was, uh, a horse eating bread. Uh, it's on my old computer. I'm on my new computer now. Um, this was actually a gift for Christmas uh, that I got from, uh, my fiance. And this is the first time that I'm actually being able to use it because I've been working a, uh, third shift job and the uh this has been in the living room for a while and I've been trying to put down flooring but I haven't been able to afford it if you followed my tiktok <laughs> you may have seen some of the struggle uh but the floor is done now as of uh probably Thursday around uh I don't know what that would be let me see what can you see right now oh you can't see anything can I turn this on oh god I'm so sorry. I've just been talking about nothing. So anyway, <laughs> uh, here I am on the Blue Pebbles channel like I was talking about. This is my first channel. Uh, I thought I was a little bit edgy, so there's a lot of like weird swearing and trying to be edgy humor that you can find throughout all of these little videos. The reason that they're still around is because like it's a relic, honestly. Like I wonder how this would go through. This is a, a stupid little thing I made in 2017. <laughs> oh my god, I wish I had a webcam so I could compare. Every time I look at this, it's always, of course it's going to be, duh. Can I do this? Alright, I want to be able to see what I see, but like only see it in a fragment. Alright, I want to see what you're seeing. Yeah, yeah, you're seeing everything. You're seeing everything. Yeah, good. So, I, this is a little stupid thing I did. Let's watch that. I think this is really cute. I wish I had a webcam, but uh, really my dog chewed it in half. 
Uh, so I haven't been able to, uh, I don't know, what the hell, can I, uh, can I turn this up? Mm. I wonder what's on in the background. Uh, I used to collect my pennies, my nickels, my dimes, and quarters all in different things. And uh, that was my pennies, that was my nickels. I had a uh, dinosaur plushy thing over there. It now belongs to my daughter, wow. Wow. Wow, that's so wild. That is wild. Um, yeah, I, th th this actually broke in my last house I lived in. That's, that's really sad. Oom, mm, then throat noises. That was probably really close to the microphone. It's probably just right off camera over there. Uh, it still kind of is. It's right here beside my, uh, my monitor. That's adorable. Oh, anyways, there's my little Linus thing. I wonder where that is. I bet that's somewhere in the living room. Uh, it's because I played Linus. I was so proud of, uh, getting a lead role at my, uh, school musical playing Linus and, uh, you're a good man, Charlie Brown. I was, and then uh, my parent, uh, my mom, my parents, uh, my mom got, uh, uh, my mom and Thomas, my brother, I don't, I don't, you, nobody knows who anybody is unless, like, you know me. So, like, I don't know who I'm really talking to. This is just going out into the ether. It's, and I tried to convince myself it's more for, like myself and I also wanted to document the uh process of uh making videos because I've been I was thinking like nobody ever like shows their process behind the videos they make like when they get the idea or uh turning the idea into the physical product like sometimes there's a behind the scenes but I still I think the behind the scenes need the behind the scenes like a lot of the behind the scenes videos like how are they made like show show that I don't know if I'm getting too close to the microphone. I'm turning into my old habits. But I really like this. This <laughs> I'm just eating I'm just eating pizza. Ah, ah. See, see, I love this. That's this is funny to me. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's still funny. Oh, okay. I tried to stream uh, Half Life. I want to get back into that. I want to stream, but I also don't want to feel the pressure of like, oh, this is going on a gaming channel like every time I stream. Uh, because, like, you see the gaming atmosphere now on YouTube. It's like, people aren't doing series as often. I know Captain Sparkles just started doing series again. And, uh, his channel started, uh, getting back, uh, whatever. Back into relevance. Even though it never really fell off. But, uh, apparently it did according to his 30 day. See, I haven't really watched the video. I'm watching an entire video on, like, how my relation to the art is not even valid because of what I'm talking about, I know, it's, ooh, I, I, I'm, I'm kind of tired right now, so I don't think, like, my brain is functioning fast enough to even keep up with, like, doing an analysis of this video, because that would be, like, meta-analysis, um, and I don't know if I'm there, and I'm also watching this, see, this is kind of what I was talking about, like, I have a really interesting YouTube feed on, uh, this account, the one that I'm live on currently, and I'm just, like, wiggling my uh, whole desk because I'm set up on a, uh, I don't know what they're called. Uh, lifestyle something table. Uh, it's, a, like, a little fold-out table. Uh, so I was wiggling my entire desk. I'm going to get a nicer desk. I am blessed beyond blessed. I've been working in a factory for a long time. Uh, for almost two years at my current job and then a year at my previous job. And, uh, yeah, there's a lot I can talk about, I guess. I guess I have interesting stories I can tell. I used to categorize myself as, like, a not very interesting person. So, like, I was like, I can't really talk about myself. Like, what would I talk about if I ever got on here? But I guess I can talk about myself, honestly. Uh, I guess, but I don't know if that's narcissistic. I don't know. I don't know what kind of complexes I could ever get into if I ever tried to, like, psychoanalyze myself like but these are the kind of ideas that i would like to run with because like these are the kind of videos i like to watch that uh really dive into like i don't know if these are great like he he really goes into a subject he dives in and i really enjoy watching his lateral movements of thought and stuff like I, i'm trying to keep up with like and sound smart but i'm not that smart honestly like there's so many things that i want to read and i figured like I could read those on stream. I don't know why. Okay, this is my theory for this. It's like, 
we don't see the idea becoming the product a lot of times. So you can have a video idea and you don't know how to make it into a product. And But like there's also the idea that you, by the time you finish something, you know just enough to start. And honestly, that is true. Because when I was putting in a water heater in uh, my closet, it was like the, one of the first major plumbing things that I ever had to do. And uh, I got help from my father-in-law and it went pretty smoothly. And uh, I think I'm pretty confident when it comes to rerouting some pipe using at least PVC. I've not worked with metals or like did any kind of welding or I don't even, I, I'm pretty sure you would weld or like you would use like some kind of casting, like putting them together. I'm, I'm supposed to be an electrical engineer in a couple of years, but like I don't actually know how to build and take an idea and a concept and make it into physical reality. So like maybe that's kind of why I'm making this channel is sort of like a setting an arbitrary goal for myself to like become a better person or like I mean not really a better per just a more productive person like if I can get my ideas documented in this form and the reason I'm live streaming it is because I don't want to have to wait for it to upload because the time that I spend perseverating about like whether or not it's worthy to upload like this is an I want this to be a no holds barred type I don't know what I mean by that I know what I mean by that but I don't know how to convey what I mean by that if you know what I mean I don't know how to package that idea into words that other people will be able to like decode into their own perception uh my mouth is really dry because I'm scared of public speaking and okay but anyway But anyway, says, and then drinks water right after. Wish you could see my face. I don't know. Um, yeah, uh, sorry. I'm just, like, paused on this guy going, um, in the camera. Uh, <laughs> but, um, yeah, and, then, yeah, I like to watch things that really dive into shit. Shut up. Shut up. I like Minecraft, too. I've always been obsessed with Minecraft. You can tell. Uh, back here, I had a Minecraft series six years ago. I actually got banned from that server, I believe, because uh, on a different mode of the site. Uh, ooh, what server was it? I can't remember. Minecraft Sky Wars, should this be a thing? Uh, I kind of want to go back and watch some of these. See, like, at this, like, really, it's like capturing things that I tangentially want to go and learn about. And then if I uh, capture some of the footage of me learning about them, I can then turn some of that footage into videos. And I can also record the process of the editing and making it into actual content. Which I don't... I've not seen that done on here. I'm not going to go ahead and... It would be out of my realm of expertise to go ahead and claim that uh, is not out there. I've just not seen it out there. Mm, this is my first ever uh, community theater uh, production. This is so cool. Hey, Eric. Oh, I was in class. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your oh. good buddy Thoroughbred here. It's your good buddy yeah, Thoroughbred here. Since I'm at home and not at DJ's right now, I'd go ahead and uh, take advantage of this time to vlog a little bit, you know? Um, yeah. <laughs> I'm just sitting here eating some leftover Los Guerreros, getting ready to go to Tech Week Day 3. Keep looking at the viewfinder. I oh, told you so I'd do cute. this if I didn't cover it, but last time I covered it, I would always go down here. And you don't want to see me go down there anymore. I don't know if what you're seeing. Are you, like, like inappropriate? Yeah, okay, you're just like my entire screen, I'm, so I'm I full screen this. Okay. I'm going into Whoa, I can't, I'm disoriented. Sorry. It's a terrible one, I know, but um, the two plays I'm in are British, so... I talk in a British accent, even though this isn't, like, actually the full accent that I use in the play. It, I just kind of slip in and out of it because I hear so many British accents. It's so of bad. different types in both my school production and my production at the Colonnade. Colonnade. And, um, it just kind of sticks with me throughout the day. I was and very proud of uh, landing the roles I did. They were very minor roles, but, it, like... At the time, I was in a college theater, and community theater was big time for me. That was like, 
they're performing at a major theater and getting like 500 like audience members in the theater like or maybe like that's big like this was in a major kind of city i live in a very rural georgia town so like going to a, a bigger city like that's not even a big city like i am s- chattanooga tennessee is is a big city for me that's it's smaller than atlanta but it's a big city atlanta is too far away for me to really want to drive it's like three hours so like no but anyways uh mm, i was so proud honestly i mean it's kind of weird to think about like ha- like i feel like i've had a semi somewhat ego death since then like i have become a lot more socially awkward and uh stuff since i used to be like this who was this who what i want to discover who this guy was again like who 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 is who is talking to this camera and who did i think i was talking to that's really interesting and then i would like to try to do uh make new videos and like actually because i remember editing but i don't think i was that great at it but i'm just eating a little bit of things before i have to go before DJ comes and picks me up, um, I'm not living with him tonight, so I should be able to upload this via computer later if yep. I decide to do that. Huh? Or I could just try to do it mobile, maybe this time. I was on a very old computer that now my uh, daughter has in her room, and it doesn't really work that well right now. Uh, I need to get it fixed, but uh, yeah, uh, this it's an old computer. Like I'm so blessed to have the computer I do right now. I haven't even had time to stop and like see this is kind of stuff I need to do just stop and uh give myself time to reflect and uh become more grateful for what I have in life and honestly like I'm able to quit the factory coming in uh coming in uh 28 days not 28 days 20 days from today since it's past midnight 20 days from uh today I get to start a new job and that's pretty awesome. And it's a flex home job. I get to work from home. I'm gonna. They're gonna give me uh, the option to select a new desk, and they're providing a computer for me, so I don't even have to use this computer, and I can have their computer also in here. I'd probably use the desk to replace uh, what I'm on right now, this table, and keep one of my tables out probably for extra space and then put the other one away maybe in the closet when i get that cleaned out because that's a whole excuse me project i might want to make a tiktok about the project but i also maybe want to go live on here on this channel and document the process of making that tiktok so it's like it's really meta and i don't know i just think it's a very interesting project in and of itself that's not been done and i don't know why i'm striving to be original in that way i don't even think that's something that I should strive for. This is so. I shouldn't do this to you guys. This is this is too far down. But it's really cool about how it's rendering. I, this is something I would like to learn. I would like to also like, and like what I like to watch is this guy named Weezy Waiter. He likes to make uh, month long challenge videos, basically, uh, where he pursues a goal for thirty days and then talks about like the experience of doing that. And what I would like is maybe it's on his Patreon and just haven't had enough spare money to actually do that because I've been driving 40 minutes, a, well, like 40 minutes to work and 40 minutes back from work, so an, an hour and uh, 20 minutes. So uh, I'm sorry, I'm losing my train of thought a lot because I'm trying to like... I want to out... Because I've been laying the framework of this channel in my mind for so long and, like, laying the reason behind, like, what I'm doing here for so long that actually articulating it and putting it down into a video is proving more difficult than I had imagined because there's so many other, like, psychological layers that are going into it right now. I don't know what I'm talking about, really. It's just, there's layers all the way down. Like, uh, Okay, uh, at 20 minutes, I talk about the primordial conflict. 
Um, I don't know why I want to do this. This is a stupid idea I've been uh, toying around with. I don't know why I'm trying to subvert the idea by calling it stupid. It's still a kind of baby idea because I feel like an idea is only fleshed out when you can actually convey it. But the primordial conflict, how I understand it, I don't know if this is called something else anywhere. I haven't read enough philosophy myself in order to be give a well-read example of what I'm talking about. But I can explain the idea as I understand it right um if if i'm trying to make sense i really don't want anything to be misconstrued which is like this is really just like a showing of the idea i don't have the language behind me to the verbiage to explain what i'm talking about but that's actually instrumental to the idea in and of itself <sighs> so basically the primordial conflict is that we don't think in words we don't have worded out thoughts the way that our inner monologue tricks us into believing that we have. We first think in notions, and then those notions, for lack of a better word, we think in notions, and then we encode those notions into words that we understand, like the thoughts that we have with our... Uh, some people don't even have a inner monologue, so it says. So, like, this is what I'm talking about. We think in notions, and then we encode that into words because that's how we learn ideas from other people, and that's just our natural way of understanding ideas is through language because we've done it that way for so long, and through reading and through, like, writing our own ideas. But a lot of people lose the, I, the ability to write well because it is such a complex, like, system to try to get an idea into another person's brain because you think in a notion, then you have to encode the notion into words, and then you have to say the words, and then they have to be interpreted by the next person, and then that has to be decoded into their own notions of every single word into their own, like, framework and thought map or whatever the hell I'm talking about, right, right, right. My neck is starting to hurt because I'm looking up at a, t at a screen and I don't have a very ergonomic situation in my office right now. I need to work on my ergonomics if I'm going to be working from home. That's something really important that I should do. Hey, that could be a video. I don't know. That would be stu why does everything have to be a video with me? But it's something that I could document here because I don't know why I have a compulsive need to document. But uh, anyways, what I'm talking about is they have to then decode that into their own notions and when they do that the idea is n going to be naturally very warped so this creates a conflict of understanding between individuals every single time any kind of conversation has ever had so what are the implications of this who do i talk to like i would like to explore this idea further but i don't know if i'm capable of doing that so maybe i would need to like go into it and read some different things i don't know i can i can continue thinking about it but this is goes beyond what i have thought about in this one idea so like i don't know why i want to capture it if it's not even ready to be like out there you know but i don't know will any idea ever be ready like unless i I don't know. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry to like... <laughs> honestly, I'm, I'm sorry to like bother you with, with this if you're even here. But I don't expect you to be here. So I expect this to just be for me. So basically, also, what I want to do... Uh, I guess at uh, 24 minutes in... Uh, I want to... Basically explore what I'm allowed to do on this channel. Like, I would like to... Re record my reactions to different content to reading different things to doing my homework to so I can make educational content because I'm really interested in my degree like ideas wise I don't know if I'm fully interested in my degree career wise if that makes sense so like I want to really lean in to the idea side of like teaching the subjects that I'm learning. I would love to make educational videos, but I just don't have the repertoire and the skills built up to make them effectively. So I figure by practicing and going ahead and doing what I'm doing here, 
I would eventually be able to make a bunch of different types of content that I'm interested in making. Does that make any sense? And I'm also interested in getting into acting and uh, doing other stuff again, like outside of uh, the work that I'm going to be doing at my uh, work from home job. Like, I know I'm blessed to be in the situation I am, but, like, I also have goals and dreams that, like, lie outside of that company. And I'm sorry, but, like, I really am I'm going to love working for the company that I am. And I'm really scared of them, like, seeing this. And, like, honestly, I have, like, a big conspiracy-minded anxiety about this kind of stuff. <clears throat> Like, I don't want them to, like, think I'm disrespecting them and automatically fire me because, like, I really do have a sort of uh, peasant complex. Like, I feel like I'm so below in the food chain, like an inferiority complex. Like, I'm so below in the food chain that they could just cut me out and, like, for anything that I say, honestly. So I don't, I don't know where that comes from and I don't know if it's true and it probably is. And a lot of people would confirm and affirm me in my belief that I am in that position and that they can do that. And that's why I'm interested in law school and understanding, like, what are the, like, actual laws that we can, that I could use in order to, I don't know, I just want to be a more real, well-rounded, well-read, well-thought person. And I'm only 22, so, like, I gotta start forgiving myself for not being intellectually perfect, but, like, I do have a perfectionist kind of complex that I would like to explore, I guess, and maybe, like, really my goal is to find people to talk to and uh, maybe eventually turn this into like i want what joe rogan has like he's he's he claims to just be a simple guy who gets to talk to people and <coughs> gets to make content and make money off of doing just having conversations and liking his life that sounds amazing does that not sound amazing that sounds like the dream Honestly, that sounds like the dream, but also I'm socially awkward and, I, and I'm afraid that I wouldn't be able to keep the conversation going. But, like, I also find myself going on full tirades of just, like, explaining and rehashing ideas when I am confident with speaking. And then, like, when I go back and retire into my own self-reflective toilet time, when I'm on the toilet, like, wanking off or fucking, uh watching YouTube on an endless scroll and not really engaging with anybody or anything besides my own fucking head, I'm replaying those events and I'm seeing them as a uh, fucking negative. I'm like, wow, I really talked over them, didn't I? And I probably did. Honestly, I don't know. I feel like I have a more interest in my ideas than hearing other people's and I, and I don't like that about myself. I would like to but, like, when I have an idea, when somebody's talking, I feel like I need it voiced right now in case it also interests them and we can start talking about that. But I also feel like that's a selfish notion to have and be like, ah, I don't know how to – maybe I need to talk to a therapist about this, but I don't know how to get those ideas forward into like articulate forms to bring to a therapist because I feel like therapist time is valuable and – I know this is like the antithesis to therapy, like you're supposed to give you time to really process your emotions and stuff, and here I am trying to do their work for them, but like, you know, I feel like I'm content being a little bit neurotic, and I feel like it's a gift and not a curse that I shouldn't be trying to heal, but like also, it... I mean, I, I do want to be a more selfless person as often as I can. I would like to provide as much value to the earth while I'm here. Like, Bo Burnham really fucking resonates with me, and maybe I can make a video about that. Like, I don't know why, but I feel like he really does resonate with, like, my ideals and what I would like to do with life. But also, I don't see myself, I have my inferiority complex comes in and says that I'm, why would I ever be capable of trying to put myself in the same box with anybody? Like, what have I actually created? And I'm like, not really much have I ever created. I've been working for a company and providing my, uh my time i've been selling my time which is an odd concept i would love to be able to get into but i feel like i would bore you talking about this kind of stuff so i don't even know when it would be appropriate to insert that and how like have i even given enough background in this just like do i need to learn to give myself time and i feel like as soon as i get more comfortable like just on this channel I mean, I feel like I'm going to be talking in loops a lot more, but I would like to get my ideas down so I can do like a review of them later 
and then talk about and explore them further and maybe start writing them down and putting them in the video format and like try my hand at overcoming the pro like like even though there is this primordial conflict like in any kind of form we still try we still yearn to engage in this kind of content like there's a reason that we're stuck in scrolling there's a reason we watch a bunch of different youtube personalities there's a reason so like i figured i should try my hand and taking part in trying to package my ideas and uh make them understandable to the world and maybe like if one of my ideas gets out there and it's a positive and it helps somebody then I'm, I'm contributing to the world in some way. I know it's kind of funny to, like, think that, like, I know it's a frame, like, uh, it's presumptuous to say that we should have to make a mark on this planet. <coughs> I feel like that comes with a lot of social layers. Like, I don't know what I mean by that. I would love to know what I mean by that. I would like to have someone more intelligent try to understand what I'm getting at and then give me the verbiage to talk about it or maybe I should be watching the verbiage but I also need to know what I'm allowed to do on this channel am I allowed to take in content from experts and then talk about it and learn in that way like what are the content uh restrictions on live streaming can I just I see a bunch of streamers watch YouTube but like I there could be the argument just watch it chop it up and then do it all on your own. Like, you, why do you need to have the motivation? Like, also, I guess there's a subconscious, like, oh, if I'm live streaming it, I'm technically held accountable by the internet because it's always going to be there. You know, like, and, I'm, and then I'm holding myself accountable for, like, the things that I say I want to do. And it's like, hey, if you say you want to do it, why are you uh, just scrolling and watching YouTube without, like, transforming it in any way into anything of use to anybody <clears throat> you know i don't know i don't know and i don't think like anything i'm doing is going to be a, it's presumptuous of me to even say that what i'm doing could be but like then what is russell brand doing reading the news and putting his own like spin on it like i don't know it's an interesting it's an interesting idea if we we if we discuss that how would I discuss that? How would I even go about discussing that? See, that's why, because I have so many, like, plot holes in my view of reality, I feel like I'm not someone who can speak on anything, really. But then what did Socrates say? Like, I am wiser than, like, is anybody wiser than Socrates? There is none because he understood that he knew nothing. And he just, and all of his dialogues go, if this is true, then. But he's never presumptuous to say that this is definitively true. There are some things that he says that he is trying to convince himself and positions from which he will be very sternly hard to waver from. But he never is steadfast to say, or steadfast, I don't think I'm using the words correctly, but like this is the idea. Like he, he says... He never supposes to say that he knows for sure on anything. He just says, if this is the case, and if this is not the case, then. And I think that's really interesting, too. And I feel like maybe I, I, I had this idea that the different uh, dialogues should be recorded, like, by somebody and recorded professionally and well by somebody. And I sh also would like to learn how to voice act and uh, record dialogue well. And why not make that a project that I pursue while also pursuing this project of documenting everything about, like, making something that I haven't seen before. Like, I just, I think that's my contribution. And I feel like it's pretentious to say that I'm making a contribution. And basically, okay. I need to allow myself to do what I'm doing, honestly, because, like, you could argue that anything is arbitrary and meaningless, like, to any degree, like, every everything that everybody is doing is, I don't know, but, like, I feel like that's also a stupid straw man, uh, 
It's like, then why can't I do that? I mean, I don't know. Do I have to justify it? I don't know. That's very, that's a difficult subject. How would we even get into that? How would we get into that? So basically what I want to know is uh, YouTube content restrictions. Let's learn. Let's learn. And maybe I can make a video of this of me reading the actual thing and make it on a certain channel where I put, like, useful things. I want the actual from YouTube help. Yeah. Okay. Your YouTube content in restricted mode. Restricted mode is an optional setting that has been available since 2010. A small subject... Oh my god. A small subset of users, such as libraries, schools, and public institutions who choose to have a more limited viewing experience on YouTube, use Restricted Mode. Note, Restricted Mode is turned off for viewers by default. Learn how to turn Restricted Mode on or off using this link. What does Restricted Mode do? I don't think I want to turn on Restricted Mode, but there's no harm in learning what it does. All right. Restricted mode was created to give users better control over the content they see. This mode intentionally limits your YouTube experience. Viewers can choose to turn on restricted mode for their personal accounts. It may also be turned on for computers in libraries, schools, and other public institutions by the institution's system administrator. Viewers who turn on restricted mode can't see comments on videos. How does restricted mode work? There are two reasons a video can be unavailable when restricted mode is turned on. Primarily, our automated system checks signals like video's metadata, title, and the language used in the video. Some videos may not be available in restricted mode because human reviewers applied an age restriction. We understand that our automated system sometimes makes mistakes when it assesses which videos are available in restricted mode. We're always looking to improve our automated systems. Will my content show if my viewers have restricted mode turned on? The videos that show potentially adult content won't be shown to viewers who have restricted mode turned on. I have turned into uh, my childlike self again. Uh, I used to not be able to say my R's very correctly. And I worked really hard on overcoming that speech imped impediment. I was actually in speech therapy for a long time in school. I don't remember the right age that I actually got out. But I had a really nice uh, blonde lady that would come to my house and uh, talk to me in the middle of the time when I was uh, uh, watching Blue's Clues. I don't really know. I don't know. Uh, I don't know how my memory is that great about my childhood. It's not that awesome. I would like to, uh, I sometimes have very vivid memories from like a couple years ago, like not a couple years ago, but like, like back when I was a kid or like a teenager, it's kind of weird to like disassociate yourself from like who you were when you were younger. <laughs> uh, but shit, what am I talking about? Ah, oh, just so wild. I'm a father of a daughter who is eight now. And I'm about, did I just say I'm a daughter? I'm a father of a daughter who is eight now. She's my stepdaughter, but I love her like my own. And uh, I'm about to have my first baby baby. And it is wild. I'm sorry. It is wild. 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 My phone won't die. Wild. <laughs> Oh my god, it is wild. She is due on the 31st, right, of August? Yeah, the last day of August. I was about to say the 30th if there was only 30 days in August. But it's that Wednesday, the 31st, she is due. <laughs> I don't even know how to get into that. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to really, like, be too public with my personal life. I want to like this channel to be more my intellectual life. 
like things that I'm looking up and are interested in and maybe making videos about them and documenting the process of doing that sort of like other video essay channels and like maybe make like different gaming type content. Is there a cat in here? Hey kitty, what are you doing? No, 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 no. Uh, I still have a part of my wall cut open where I had a leak from the pipes. That's why I had to replace the floors if you were watching my uh, TikToks. I don't think you are, but like, shameless plug. But uh, am I still live? I would love to still be live. Let me check. How do I know? Oh, it's because I have this like dot, duh. See, this is like documenting the process of learning. Like, I want to be intellectually honest. And like, I feel like a lot of times people try to come off more intelligent than they are. And, like, I don't think that's good. I, I think if everyone was a little bit more intellectually honest, we'd have less people, like, being competitive and lying. I don't know. I just feel like it would make a better... Get out of the insulation! Please! 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 Look, I love you, but you gotta stop. No, that's dangerous. Please get out of that. You're gonna be itchy, and you're gonna get us itchy? Stop it. I really need to get that fixed, but I haven't gotten a paycheck. That's capitalism. Woo. Dude, I'm serious. I'm about to kick you out. Okay, give me just a second. I'm sorry. I have to, like, actually throw him out of this room. All right. Hey, my headphones are cut. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey, baby. Well, no. I wish I had a webcam, and then you could see him. He's really fluffy. But, Jesus, dude. Good lord, good lord, good lord, good lord, good lord. Basically, what I want to get down to the bottom to... What? <laughs> Basically, what I'm trying to get to the bottom of is... Am I allowed to react to music on here? Because I'm interested in uh, music uh, analysis, critique, and uh, chronalization. If that makes sense. Like, basically, when I started working in the job that I have now... I have been wearing headphones every time. Uh, I'm not worried about the management of this uh, facility learning about that because uh, uh, my supervisors, they didn't care. Um, so anyways, I would wear headphones and listen to discographies of different artists. Basically, the first one I did was uh, Weird Al Yankovic. I listened through every single record on Spotify. Because uh, that's the one I paid for. <laughs> There's no other uh, explanation. I didn't really like choose like based on any data. Like I didn't look into YouTube music. I didn't look into Prime Music. I didn't look into anything but Spotify or Apple Music. Stop! I'm so sorry. He is wanting back in. And he is very vocal about it. Meow. No, that's my other cat. She is under the house right now, and I don't know why. And she can hear me talking, and I think she wants back in. Uh, but she's also afraid of the neighbor dog, who is basically always outside. Uh, for reasons that are too complex for me to really get into, and who am I to really comment on it. And she gets along, but she does chew up a bunch of trash. That's one thing I wish she didn't do, but uh, she's a lovable little scamp, and she wags her tail, and I can deal with a little garbage. I mean, I love animals a little bit too much. I'm soft-hearted, and I don't really care too much about, like, looks and appearances when it comes to my household. Like, if I may, I, I'm proud of the way the floor turned out, but I'm not too fussed that it doesn't look perfect, you know? Like, I, I tried really hard to make it look really good, but I'm not too fussed, you know? Like... Always try it as hard as you can for the outcome you want, but let go of the results. Don't allow it to bother you. I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm actually going to take a little hiatus. I would like to work on a uh, little thing I could put up to say, like, I am in hiatus. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, like, like an image or something. Like, maybe a uh, color source and then turn this off. And then you would just be that. But... I don't know. I don't know. I don't really like that. I would like it to be like, be right back. Or I can just probably whip something up. But I do want uh, to get my cat in. Make sure that her food wasn't stolen by the dog. And then maybe get her to stop meowing so much. 
How long have I been on? Only 44 minutes. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. I can still go through this at like double speed next, uh, next whatever, and then find some, like I want to delve into the primordial, uh, uh, primordial conflict, but I don't know how to structure a video about it. I feel like it would be interesting and I could probably look up different sources and like document the process of uh, making that kind of video. I feel like that would be really cool. Um, but also other things that I've talked about, like maybe like how to relate to your younger self, but I like, who am I to really give? I mean, like, I guess just a person, a person, just a person. Like, who are you? I'm just a person. <coughs> Well, I feel like every person is, like, capable of, uh, oh my god, please. I just, I'm kind of hoping that, like, I can just get through this, and she'll eventually just shut up. <laughs> I mean, I know she's, that's a distress call. I should care more. I want to care more. Okay, I'm going to go care more. What, baby? Meow? Meow? Come on, come to the door. Come to the door. I'm back, boom, I'm back, next time we view it, I can show when I'm back, I can show when I'm back, when I'm back, when I'm back, 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 big visual change, woo woo, hello, 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 greetings, we are back live on the air, <laughs> we've been live the whole time, that's really scary, honestly, like, isn't it, isn't it like jumping out of an airplane, which is actually more painful than it sounds, Maybe I'm a baby back bitch. Call me a baby back bitch, but the harness hurts. It's actually a lot cheaper than you would think to do it. And it's one of those bucket list items that I made sure to put some money toward. And I got, honestly, that's why, like, uh, okay. <coughs> uh, maybe I'm, I gotta admit to myself that I'm not the most financially, like, best person, but like, it's a bucket list item, and, you know, like, I, I don't have to justify it to anybody. 
It was fun. It was an experience. I do want to do it again, but I will wear pads around my uh, wear the around my thighs and uh, the crease of your groin uh, and also around your uh, shoulders and uh, I guess your boob area, your side boob area. It, the straps were really painful on the way down. Even after the parachute was pulled, everything hurt. I was not able to enjoy the experience that well. Maybe, and also, I don't think I held my head the correct way and listened to them learn. Uh, it's basically because uh, I'm here. Here, I'm gonna project and uh, and and skirt the side. Uh, I'm gonna like skirt the blame basically and put it onto uh, my really cool guy who was uh, who just said that he knew it was what he really loved to do, and I'm always like looking for that kind of passion. Like, I love passion in life, man. I, I wish I had more passions in life, honestly. That's what I'm looking for with this series. Honestly, if we wanted to get really, like, into our feels, like, hours, like, this, I'm really just searching for purpose and, uh, like, passion. Like, I want to know what I'm passionate about. And, like, I really don't stick through with a bunch of, like, personal projects because I've been focused on just financial stability for a while. And, like, I, I'm tired of scapegoating, uh, like, my life circumstances for why I don't have passion and stuff in my life. Like, things I'm doing for me or, like, for, like, my future or whatever. Besides, like, I mean, honestly, I did apply and I did get a new job. And I guess that is, like, working for yourself. But, like, it's not working for you. It's, like making like the time that you have to give of yourself in order to survive in this world like i mean and you know what i mean you know what i mean you know what i mean like i don't have anything that i'm doing for me and like you know like honestly there's it's never not on the mind especially nowadays after seeing what's possible on youtube as creators go as far as creating goes it's never not going to be on somebody's mind when they go to start youtube about the uh, potential to uh, make money. I know, like, all the OG YouTubers say, like, like that's not something that you should ever have. Uh... What? Bring a little more food for Yami? Oh, okay, my cat needs a little bit more food. Um, I guess she's starving. I guess her food was stolen. But apparently she is eaten, according to uh, my love. She said she was eaten. And, uh... I don't know. I feel like I have to give code names for, like, the people in my life because I don't want them to be affected by, like, my own private things. Like, I, like, I want my daughter to be private. She wants, beyond wants, to be a YouTuber. Like, she, that's the, because that's one of the only things that she's ever seen. And, like, I understand the desire because I had that desire. Obviously, I had that desire at one point. And I still think I do. I think I am this person with this desire. and But, like, I don't know the practical way of doing it properly. And, like, I, back in the day, I didn't really put a whole hell of a lot of effort into my videos. And I would like to be able to put more effort into the videos. And I guess part of me thinks that this is a cheap way of, like, making it happen. Because I'm not having to necessarily, like, record something with, a. Uh, the frame of mind is this is going to be for a video uh and i can just take some like natural content but like event like basically i want to do this so often it becomes natural and then i can just like cut it up and dissect it and make other stuff with it and also like anytime that i'm going to record something like properly i'm gonna start recording like i'm gonna live stream the process of recording the proper clip if i need a proper clip Instead of, like, thinking, like, oh, I can use this and, like, maybe what makes sense is the live reaction. And also, if I wanted to do a doctored reaction, this would be a hidden way back door to figure out what was hidden and what was not. You know, like, I don't know. I feel like I, I, that's something taboo to talk about and it's kind of cool, like, background having, like, extra background lore on everything. And I feel like I'm setting myself up for that. Like, if I set it up as, like, a project, this is something that I could work towards and build, then I think that it will naturally make me engage with it more, and I hope to actually do this. Like, these are things that I've, like, romanticized and thought I would do in my head, but I've never, like, made the, uh, the effort to do it. So, like, this is kind of, like, forcing my hand, if that makes sense. Does that, I think that makes sense.
Hello? Come get her? Alright. Please don't piss in here. Please don't piss in here. I know you're a fairly outside cat and you're used to just pissing, but please don't pee in here. All right, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna be back. Uh, let me give a uh, visual change so I know if I ever wanted to view this later, it would be somewhere. Where the hell is my mouth? Where the hell is my mouse? Come on, my mouse. There's my mouse. Visual change. B -b 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 visual change. B -b 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 visual change. See, I'd also like to get into music and stuff. And I don't know. This is just like now that I'm saying it, I'm manifesting it. Manifesting it. Oh, yeah. Be manifested. Show manifested. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. 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 Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah. Okay, I'll stop now. Alright. from now or so yeah uh, because she is visual change i said a visual change i said a visual visual change i need a dollar for change 
I don't know. That was terrible uh, improvising, but I'll get better. Always get better on that grind set. On that mindset grind set. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. <sighs> Sigma. Sigma sexual. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even really... Like, I know about it, but I don't believe in it. No. I don't know. See, I can talk about that kind of stuff, but I don't even think that that kind of stuff is even worth talking about. Like, those kind of categories. I don't know. But maybe it is. Maybe we'll get to that point where uh, I have to dissect what I think about it and, like, really put it concretely in some kind of fashion. And there goes my phone falling on the floor. Gravity. I really wish that I was going to be able to, like, record, like, uh, 9.81 something meters per second squared is the acceleration of due to gravity or whatever the fuck. I think, I think, I don't know. Look me up. Let me look it up. Let's look it up. What is gravity? I wanted to make educational videos. Gee. Come on. I know it's here. I know it'll be here. I said it would be here. You better fucking be here. Gee. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. No, it's not there. I thought it was going to be there, but it's not there. G constant. Gravitational constant. But not that one. Not big G. I'm talking little G. Give me little G. G. Okay, let's just look it up in technical terms. Acceleration due to gravity. Due to gravity. Why are you only giving me the unit? I'm trying to figure it out. Give me... Yeah. Okay. I'm talking at sea level, damn it. It is 9.8. I swear to fucking Christ. Come on, yeah. C, 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 C. Yeah, because it's a vector. It has to point down. It has to point down. Won't, 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 won't. Am I still alive? Have I ever looked into that? I thought I had to look into that. Sorry, we ain't even getting into that. We ain't even getting into that. Ooh, I'm on a different account viewing this account. Yeah, because it's a vector. It has to point down. It has to point down. Hello? Hello? Alright. This will let me know which mic I'm using. Hello? Hello? Oh, it is this one. Alright. This will let me know which mic I'm using. Oh! Ah, that's so weird. That's so weird, and it doesn't have a pop filter. How do I make sure that it's uh, the right microphone? I need the right microphone. It'd be in settings? Audio. Ah. Oh, I'm not even looking in the right spot. I'm getting distracted. Where the hell? What that, please? Apply. Yes. All right, now. Surely, surely, surely. Catch up to live, please. Be in settings? Audio. Ah. Surely. Oh, I'm not even looking in the right spot. I'm getting distracted. Where the hell? What's that, please? Apply. Yes. Um, How is that? This is stuff I need to know.
How's that? That is so much better. That is so much better. So much better. That is phenomenally better. I am so sorry. I mean, this is just part of the process of growing. Part of the pro- How do I construct that into a video, though? That's what's interesting. Like, is that an interesting enough story to show? Or is this just enough? Like, is this all the account that I need to have of it? Like, honestly. Oh. Is, like, doing any kind of more editing to it, uh, presumptuous of the need to, like, have it properly documented in a way that's more, uh, digestible. But isn't that just, like, what video creation is? And if I'm interested in the medium, I gotta be interested in what work. Like, I do want to play Portal, but how do I make, like, a, uh, Portal series? And also, uh, also make a, uh, marketable, like, Portal video in today's landscape, you know? Like, it has to be one of those standalone type deals, and do they go on the same channel, or do I try to do different channels? Hey! <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's also, let's get back to the subject at hand because this will help us along our way. This is like, I want to be able to watch videos online. This is like the evidence I'm looking for. I want to be able to watch videos and then react to them and then use that content and chop it up and uh, make like actual reaction type content because it's easy. Like honestly, l look, that I'm going to be honest. Like, if there is a potential for me to make this my job, then, like, I do want to make artsy shit, too. I want to make, like, proper, like, readings of Utopia by Thomas More, uh, like, proper, like, get into, like, my whole political philosophy and, like, really hone in and talk about, like, the issues that are really important that I think, but also what else is also important and also like I can find a way to philosophically justify but if I'm being honest it's easy to do is reactionary content which is basically art critique which is basically like something uh what was his name you know uh Oscar Wilde said that maybe art critique is more interesting than art itself and so I don't know, like there's a thousand ways to justify it, but really it's easy. And if I want to make it my job, it's something that I should look into and it is popular with the algorithm. But also I want to know how people are getting away with it. So I know I'm protected and I also want to figure out if there is a way to do it in an artistic and good way like a way that like, am I bringing anything to the table? I don't want to release videos about this stuff that aren't useful. But also, like, I think, like, with this channel, it would be really cool to document the weeding out process, like, showing, like, me watching and deciding and maybe even working really hard with some footage from reacting with it and really engaging with some material and then just realizing the video isn't really there, like, artistically, and then maybe having a dump channel, like, Jamie Dump or something, uh, where I just put the video that I didn't think really works and then just put it there and then like have another channel where I'm supposedly supposed to care more, you know? Like there's different personas I have. There's just me, which is basically what I want this layer to be. I want to just be me, honestly. I just want it to be like whatever comes to mind, whatever I'm doing, I would like it to be like whatever I'm listening to or interested in, reading, listening to, watching. Like I would love to be able to document it all and then take that and weed it out and make it into reactionary style content about stuff because like i just want to be part of the conversation and make it to a part i want to get to a position in which i can talk to interesting people like i just want interesting people like it's not like i don't have interesting people in my life that i can talk to but there i know there's so many hyper interesting people out there and I would love to be able to get onto a level or a platform in which I can engage with other minds because there are ways, there are a bunch of ideas that I have that I would like to like get more people talking about. I say, and I think I potentially believe, but is there any way I can prove that? And by proving that, it's like 
being able to think about them on the spot and talk about them and then maybe go back and like a review and be like, oh, that was interesting. Let's write that down and talk about that further. What did I mean when I said this? What did I, I feel like that's kind of, that's content that I've not seen. And that's stuff I'm interested in seeing more people maybe try to adopt. I don't know. But who am I to like presume to be a trendsetter? I don't, I don't think I am by any means, but like, like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to come across, like, I feel like everybody has something unique to bring to the table just by virtue of being themselves and talking about it, because filtering it through their, like, fucking idiosyncratic lens of their being, like, is interesting in and of itself. So, like, there's a... Like, a lot of people think that Twitter is just, like, a lot of people just shouting crap, which it is. But, like, it's, in a way, I think that's, like, beautiful. Like, I think that we can find beauty in all these different aspects of, like, content and talking to each other. And I don't know. I feel like it's weird to get gushy about content. But, like, how else do we engage with the world now in this digital age? Like, we eng a lot of our, like... I don't know about y'all, but, like, like, I have friends, but I don't know. I feel socially distant. I, maybe it's from COVID, but I feel very socially distant. And I'm really excited to go hang out with them, but, like, I've kind of had this, like, ego death mentality for so long. I don't really know how to relate to people, and maybe, like, I don't know. And more stuff for the therapist. <clears throat> Make a series called What I Need Therapy For. Why is everything filtered through the lens of wanting to make a series about it? I don't know. I don't know what that is. 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 I don't know what it is. I don't. I can't describe it, really. And I wish I could. I don't think I could ever describe it, but maybe. But also, I need to learn, like, what I'm allowed to do. <laughs> So basically I was earlier, what was I doing? Trying to make a uh, video of reading these things. Maybe if they pay me, I'll make a, uh, I'll definitely do this. So uh, Google hit me up. Uh, you know all my information. You, you, you created, you host my accounts. You know me. Hello, Google. I'm talking to you. Yeah. Yeah. Hear me. Look at me walking up to the belly of the beast and being like, yo, I'll make your content, B. I'll, I'll advertise the shit out of this. Because I think, I think rules and stuff is interesting. And I think if you make more videos, more people will engage with, the, with knowing them. Like, I think, like, interesting video. Like, I will learn how to make interesting videos about that. I will work with any kind of people that you would like me to work with and I would learn how to make this stuff interesting for the viewer because I think like learning this kind of stuff is interesting like I would read this on my own time but I feel like I also want this channel to be what I would read on my own time so like I don't know I'm caught in this like weird cross not crossfire but you know what I'm talking about I don't know I don't know. You don't really know what I'm talking about because there's no way that you could, but we have to be able to click somehow because that's how society is arranged. We have to be able to understand people on some kind of level at least. Maybe not on every fucking metaphysical level, but at least on a logical level that we all can kind of stand on, but I'm not like intellectually based enough to give an actual assessment of that i would like to read nietzsche on this channel that'd be really cool i think he has some ideas i don't actually know what he, if i'm being completely intellectually honest i don't know i haven't done any reading of his actual work i just have like the regular what i presume to be the regular social like impression of what his work is and i have my own perception of like nihilism like obviously like i feel like my my notion is like not my notion but like uh my sentiment i guess i don't know what to call it but my sentiment of nihilism is like 
of course everything would be meaningless because meaning meaning is by nature subjective there is no objective truth that you can apply to meaning like i can't fathom one so therefore i'm dismissing the idea of it so maybe that's like fa fallacious but i don't think there necessarily is an objective to everything that's like my conviction right now in my current state of my current school of thought my current conviction is that there is no like objective truth to reach there are only like stories that we tell ourselves um, how to actually say that in like an actual philosophical way I don't have the chops yet 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 is a very good word because uh, I'm stealing this from my uh, what well, uh, she was my choir teacher I don't want to like say her name and like doss her or whatever the hell but uh I'm sure you can say I don't know she's really cool uh, she was a really cool choir teacher, uh, and also, like, uh, instructor for uh, an outside thing called the do Re Migos. <laughs> uh, I was a part of that for a little while until, uh, I got senioritis and stopped really showing up to rehearsal, and then I never went to my last concert that I could have done, but, I mean, you have regrets, but you live and you, you live. I would like to, this is kind of my opportunity to try to get back into spheres and connect with people who have similar interests, though I can uh, start doing things I like again, like live performance and what have you. But, you know, this is just where I'm at and I gotta be honest with myself. Got to be honest with myself. Ah. <clears throat> All I have is a bunch of boring stories about the glory days. But, um,. I'm only 22, Jesus. I have the world ahead of me. Um, what was I even talking about? Nihilism? Like, but that doesn't take away, like, any happiness you can find, as long as it's not at the expense of others, you should take it. Is, like, nihilism. You can't let nihilism get you down. It just, it frees you up to find and make your own meaning. It's like your own little life project. And a lot of times that can be very overwhelming. Like, it is very overwhelming. Like, it is overwhelming as hell being just a human being alive. Hello, me again. How fucking far am I away? I hope I haven't, like, fucked myself over. But I, as far as I know, I'm still streaming. Still streaming. Streaming away. On the main screen. Okay. Uh... Do I want to play a game tonight? I only want to be up for another like two hours. So like, I know that seems like a really long time to stream. Honestly, it does. Mm. Well, that's why it's volume one. I'm not doing one specific thing. <clears throat> but I never did. Uh... Oh, I kind of wrote this off as like, I want to actually find the information I'm looking for instead of trying to like turn this into a video of its own right now. Like, but the offer's on the table. Google, hit me up. I love you, baby. I'm coming for you. I have your products in my house that control my light bulbs sometimes. Not in every room. Can't afford that. If you made them cheaper, if you sponsored me, I love you forever. I will take it for free blindly because capitalism is a nightmare and I'm living in it. And I, anything I can get for free, I'll take. Thank you. Love you. <laughs> oh god I'm cynic but like really a cynic is just a disappointed optimist so like I have my optimist viewpoint and I feel like I don't know what the optimist party is but if I was to start in a party it would be probably the optimist party I don't know because I feel like pessimism at, in and of itself is defeatist which that's literally the definition but like still uh a lot of times pessimism is disguised as practicalism or like uh, pragmatism. Like pessimism is often disguised as pragmatism and like how is it useful to believe that there is no way to fix things in society? Like anything that we deem negative has to be fixable. Otherwise, like what's even the point? 
you know like what's even the point if there's no way forward what's even the point of anything so like should we just give up should we all just give up is that even is that is that literally on the table for everybody like even the accelerationist view like is giving up like actually on the table or do you just want like a little bit of excitement and chaos and you're like dulled by like your own experience in the world the way that it is so you're just ready to fucking have something happen of significant meaning in your lifetime honestly is that what you're looking for i mean but also you don't fully be i don't i don't believe that anyone is truly of the conviction that they uh want humanity to fail like, I don't see why you would hold that belief. Like, I can understand it being a thing. But I don't see how that belief would ever... I don't see a reason for that belief. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I, I feel like it's not useful. And we should always try to find a way forward. Like, I feel like we live in a very wealthy world. And it's just a distribution issue. That's my conviction, is that we have the resources to go around for everybody to live a middle class, basically, life. But we just don't distribute it well. And that's the issue. That's my conviction. Can I prove it right now with facts and data? No. But I would like to eventually try, but like that automatically admits my bias. But like I feel like the other viewpoint of saying we don't have the resources... Like, well, that, that leads to the question, at least in my mind, is like, how do we get to a point in which we have the resources to? And why are we not doing everything in our power in order to get there? You know, like, in order to solve those problems. You know what I mean? Like, I know there are people working on these problems, and I'm not very original to say what I'm saying. But, like, I just think that's what I would like to get into. Uh... I, I'm really going on tangents because it's you can see the time and uh, I worked third shift last night so I worked from 8 until 8 in the at uh, in the morning from 8 at night until 8 in the morning and then I uh, took a nap around 11 or 10 and woke up around uh, 4 30 which so that sounds like I had plenty of sleep that's like six and a half hours but like I'm not doing well but also I got to stay on a somewhat third shift schedule so i think i'll wake up around maybe uh probably around either 10 30 or 11 uh tomorrow which makes me feel like a bad father because it's a uh, summertime and i should be getting up early with my daughter but uh i gotta retain some kind of third shift schedule right now while i'm in uh while i'm working my third shift job that i have uh the reason i'm doing it is because i'm trying to go to school and learn uh electrical engineering uh because I'm interested in learning about and knowing about how the world works, I know that's not a great motivation. I should be like, uh, and I do, and I do want to learn how to make stuff. That's kind of, but also I'm interested a lot in creativity and philosophy and political like spheres and ideas about like organization of society and stuff. And like, I would like, and I do legitimately have ambitions of, uh, being a politician someday, I believe, because I think some of the ideas like, a lot of the times that the people are talking, they're distracting the public of, like, what the actual issues are. Like, there is, I don't know, like, I would like to get into, like, what my views are on homelessness and everything, but I don't know how to structure them, you know? So I feel like I just need to talk about it and uh, come back to it and sit down and work on it. But right now, I'm not really up to working on it, but I would like to start a list of things that I want to talk about. But I feel like I can do like a sped up version of watching this and reviewing this and I can collect like a list from that next time. And every time I like I think at the beginning of these while I'm in the structure mode, I can uh, watch over the last one, take notes of what uh, I wanted to do. Like maybe I can start a Google Doc. That'd be interesting. Google Docs. Oh, that's a letter to my future self that uh, I wrote in uh, 2018. Interesting. Oh, there's an acting resume I tried to make. I like spelling theater this way, but, like, nobody else likes it. 
That's my favorite way to spell theater. I don't know why, that's just how I feel. Okay, go to help me out. Did I ever finish filling in everything that I played? Did I play it? Did I fill out everything? Hmm, there's a lot here. Like, how do I actually make a uh, acting resume? This is something I'd like to tackle. And uh, start maybe making a different... I have a bunch of... When I get my uh, webcam fixed, which I'm getting a, uh, a wire stripper uh, with the next check, which comes tomorrow around maybe 7 o'clock or 6, if I'm lucky. Uh, I'll be able to run over to the hardware store and pick me up a... Uh, wire stripper because I'm completely broke for this week let's be honest I feel like that's very uh connectable goal like a goal what the fuck uh predicament that people tend to get in I feel like it's not very individualistic of me to say so I feel like we can connect on that uh I don't know who we is you know I'm just talking to talk I guess uh um there's a lot. I tried to put it in high school and this. I don't think that's, I don't know if that's right. And I did event work. I played the top of hat. Baron Bash. I was James Fisk. I don't remember much about James Fisk. I think I had a, uh, no, I think I did it in an old notebook. I'd have to find and go through on here. Uh, Easter Bunny. Yeah, it's the Easter Bunny for, uh, I actually traumatized a kid as the Easter Bunny. Uh, uh, I went on my break as the Easter... I need to work on my storytelling skills because I think this is really funny, but I don't know how to, like, make it funny. So, like, I would like to be able to maybe do a quick... Maybe do an analysis and learning from uh, different uh, comedians or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. But I gotta make myself learn what I need to learn. Okay. Um, content. Uh, let's just go content creator. Sure. I'm thirsty. I'm, I can't do this. All right. Keep up with the news about your industry, knowing what is going on in your sector is. Write consistently. Practice makes a man perfect. Successful content creators understand. Know your audience. Most fundamental mistake of a content creator can make is living in... Anyway, no, not what I'm looking for. What am I even looking for? See, this is a issue I have from, like, even knowing what to look for. God, I fucking... supposed to be a smart person, but I can't even do any research anymore. Like, my brain is so fried from two years of factory work. Like, really just uh, intellectual neglect. Like, I haven't allowed myself to think in a structure of, like, making anything in so long. God damn. Because most of my work so far hasn't even been making a lab report uh, in my uh, electrical engineering degree. Like back when I did a computer science degree, at least I was making programs and shit. Now uh, I'm not making anything. <sighs> the action. Laws. Code. Mm. 
I don't know what I'm looking at. Rolls. Reaction content rules. Yeah, let's go to Reddit, sure. Yeah, that's basically where I'm at. Oh, let me go ahead and read it because Reddit reactions are very cool on YouTube, apparently. Sure, sure. Please don't get my stuff and steal my identity. I need it. Please stop. Alright. The hell? Okay. Yeah. I'm a fin. Fin boy. Uh, what are the rules about reaction videos on YouTube? Okay. What are the rules about reaction videos on YouTube? If you make a reaction video and play content that isn't yours, what are the rules? Are you allowed to make video... <laughs> are you allowed to make the video but not monetize it? Will you get a copyright strike just for uploading the video? Is there a way to get permission? I haven't been able to get any real information from searching the web, so I'm hoping someone on here can explain it to me. This thread is archived. New comments cannot be posted and votes cannot be cast. Try to style your reaction videos like the Fine Bros or H3H Tree, and not like Jinx, Blasphemous, Tyrone, Magnus, uh, etc. Those guys should be banished from YouTube. Banished from YouTube! Can I ask what you feel are the key differences between the two groups? The first don't show the entire clip, which is fair use. The second group, all they do is have the video at the bottom of the screen and show the entire video with them just watching the video. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Thank you. No problem. So how does that work for me? So maybe I need to type in live stream reactions and maybe we'll find what we're looking for. All right, oh, no problem. As long as the video is transformative in nature, it's covered by fair use. This means it cannot just be played with your face being all shocked and whatnot. Then how do you explain TikTok? But like, I'm looking for YouTube specifically because what is the, what, what am I on right now? What is, what is, what am I talking to right now? Google, I love you. Don't, 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 don't take me away. I just want to do this as like a good art assignment. I think it is artful to like show the process behind everything and your genesis and what have you. I would love to read Genesis. I should read the Bible in here. That would be fucking phenomenal. I would love that. I use the word fucking phenomenal a lot. The phrase, not word. Two words I love. This means if... Mm, you need to add to the original piece of work and in order to cover yourself should not show all of the original work, just sections. Also link to the original work and give credit. So like, should I post a link in the, uh, in my little, uh, chat every time I watch a video? Is that how I would do it? Videos watched. How would I do that? Would it be here and in my, uh, little broadcast settings? Stream. Hello. Alright, do I put it in my chat? Or how do I put it in my description? Oh, maybe I need to go to my channel itself. Ding ding ding. Alright. Uh, studio, maybe. No. Swap. Don't get my shit and, uh, kill me. Hey. You. Alright. 
What do I do? I am live. Am I not? What channel am I live on? Uh, yeah, I am live. How do I? What do I do? And there. Edit video. Okay, so I'm here. I'm still live. And if I add to this description, uh, learning how to approach uh, I'm gonna let my dog sing. I'll be right back. Soup's already in the crate. Maybe it's the neighbor dog and uh, the further away neighbor dog. Ooh, that was smooth. Too bad you couldn't see that. Learning how to approach content creation as a window to self-actualization. Ooh, all fancy. Ooh, yeah, hyphenated. I don't know. Stupid. Save. And now, if I go over here and refresh. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, hyphenated. Neat. So should I go ahead and uh, try to give timestamps? Would that be weird? Would that be weird to do that like in the same stream? That way like you're kind of like wrapped up by the end of it? Okay, maybe. I don't know. I don't know when I talked about what. But maybe it'd be interesting. Could someone help me out with that if anyone ever discovers this? That'd be cool. I'd like to do it myself. I guess maybe I need to work on it. I need to work on my motivation to go back and do stuff. But like as long as I'm making myself do it, it's a good thing. Okay. Uh, let's continue reading some stuff. Live. Uh, let's go ahead and separate what need be. All right, what are the rules for live reaction streams on Twitch? Hmm. There's a category to stream talk shows and podcasts. Say a Game of Thrones episode or the walk. What am I allowed or not allowed to do? Can I show the video I'm reacting to? I'm only allowed to play sound. Well, you don't have the rights to the visuals or audio. It's picked up pretty quickly, even though they say it's fair use. See, I don't, I don't understand. do this all right let's read some of that your live stream or archive live stream is blocked globally and why would that happen Ooh, OK. 
okay let me manage my stuff you I'm not gonna watch you you and you leave for a minute uh, all right you but you need to leave for a minute I'll keep you open I'll keep you open all right uh, That's your channel or videos, aren't it? Oh, okay. Yeah, smart kids. Okay, I don't care about that. Okay. Alright, avoid restrictions. Okay. It's a copyright takedown. Your live stream matches another copyrighted live broadcast. Okay. What is your daily limit for creating live streams? To make YouTube safer for everyone, we limit how many live streams a channel can create in a 24 hour period. To increase your daily limit, see this article. Okay, 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 okay. If you're choosing a variable resolution entry point, you may. verify my account which I think I might be I'm not sure I have to do that off camera because I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to show that all right this is a slowdown because I'm just looking for stuff I also have to allow myself to introduce to allow allow this just searching progress for the sake of uh, showing other people how it's done or reminding myself how I did it. If I ever find myself in a bad headspace and don't know how to orient myself, just go look, this is something you've done before. You can always do it again. Oh, sorry about all that noise. I want to find this out before the night is over. Keep in mind that videos can be removed from the site for reasons other than copyright, also copyrighted do, do claims. I've already done that. Okay. When your video contains the copyright protected content, your video can get a content ID claim. These claims are automatically generated with the, when an uploaded video matches another video or part of another video in our content ID system. Copyright owners can set ID content, like content ID to block uploads that match a copyrighted work when they own rights to it. They can also allow the claim content to remain on YouTube with ads. In these cases, an advertising revenue goes to the copyright owner or the claim content. I don't know if it has an ID claim. I thought it was longer than 10 minutes, not 8 minutes. I 
again, I would make uh, content reading this out loud. Uh, if uh, you're interested, Google. Sorry, I'm really tired right now. I don't know what just happened. I'm crashing. So uh, I may have to go to bed soon, but I do want to have this figured out before I go to bed. Community guide launched, right? Where is that? Wow, okay. Requirements for copyright infringement notifications videos. To request a copyright infringement notification for a video, you must include the required info listed below. Without this info, we can't proceed with your request. You can submit the info below in the body of an email, not as an attachment to. I don't know why I said whoa. So I gotta make sure I don't get canceled worldwide. Okay. Ooh, is this how that works? Because I would like to know how there are, that's okay. What's up? Would you like a snack? A snack? A snack. What kind of snack? Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.
I wish I could go to copyright school beforehand. Your active live stream. I didn't, I didn't realize it helps you walk a little farther. How many do we have? Three. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind. Awesome. Thank you so much. I love you. I love you. Soon. Okay. I'll be in bed no later than like three thirty. <laughs> okay. I've already doing? set that limit. Uh, trying to learn uh what's avail what what are you meh, like how do people who uh make album reaction videos and video reaction videos how do they get away with it, or is it just a problem like? that YouTube can't deal with the massive like influx of it and that's how they're just getting away with it or are they actually allowed to do what they're doing? I want to know. I don't know. No, that's really interesting. So I'm about to watch this video unless it's copyrighted because I, I am live streaming the process of looking this up just for like basically I don't think I've ever told you but I was brainstorming the idea of like having something when I have an idea having a way to look back on it mm -hmm. and uh, go back to the timestamp when I was talking about it and then like use that to like write out different ideas and stuff yeah you know just documentation kind of yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. to me it feels like it doesn't make sense it feels like it comes off as pretentious like why are no, you no, uh, documenting like, uh, yourself it's like when you uh, record like a, a like a diary or like a like a journal or something like what are those yeah. used for exactly. like it's normalized but it doesn't feel normal in my head you yeah. know what I mean yeah I, I really I understand I love you you're very sweet that feels satanistic feels <laughs> so religious <coughs> oh that spot it. in my throat really hurts Oh, I'm so sorry. And every time I swallow, I'm going to have to make you a mushy cookie. <laughs> mm. I love you. I love you. Good night. Good night. Good night. I need to see if uh, this video is uh, copyrighted. Hey, did you hear Bennett earlier? Yeah, I don't know what that was. I'm afraid I've been yawning. What? She went outside, and then like... I didn't think she was outside. Yeah, I walked in here, and she started yelling at me. Oh, okay. She walked into the door and I was like, okay. Why isn't Bennett inside? Bennett's inside? Why isn't she inside? Mm. I don't know. I wish, I wish I can just go put her inside, but it's not my house. I know. I think I may have to have a conversation with her. Mm. I gotta figure out how to make it a cordial conversation where nothing bad happens. Yeah. But it needs to be a conversation to have. Well, how do you approach that kind of conversation? I'm working on that. And when I figure it out, I'll let you know. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> mm. You have a pebble. Is that okay? Mm -mm. No. He likes to get in this hole over here. Oh, okay. No, no, no. You gotta. He annoys the hell out of me with digging yeah. in that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Love the copyright strikes card in YouTube studio makes it easy to see the copyright strikes affecting your channel as soon as you open the dashboard clicking okay. the card you can see your copyright strikes together with detailed information about the impacted videos like the specific content in your video that was identified by the claimant in the takedown notice and the actions you can take to resolve the strikes you can also address your copyright strikes and any content ID claims from your video library. You can filter your video library for just videos that have copyright claims by selecting the copyright claims filter. This filter will show both videos that have copyright strikes and videos that have content ID claims. Next, hover over the restrictions column. 
This will give you info on what happened, and you can click into it to open up the copyright summary and status. For a copyright takedown, which results in a copyright strike, you'll see details about the impact the strike has on your channel, along with the video's visibility and monetization status. From here, you can also take action against this strike by choosing to contact the claimant or submit a counter notification. For a content ID claim, which doesn't result in a copyright strike, you'll see details about the claim's impact on your channel and the video's visibility and monetization status. You'll also see the content being claimed, including the timecode it appears at and the impact the claim has on your video. From this view, you can also take relevant actions to resolve the claim. You can dispute it, or you can choose to edit out the claimed content. You can trim out the claimed part of your video, which will automatically release the claim. If a song was claimed in your video, you can also choose to replace or mute the song. Any of these edits will keep your original video URL and views intact. Check out other videos in our YouTube Studio series here. Yeah. Oh, increase fitness. set these up and do that tomorrow. There's a way uh, on YouTube that's, that's already talked about this.
what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel so one of the most popular questions i get on this channel is what kind of dog is bullet no i'm just kidding <laughs> one of the most popular chat questions i get on this channel is uh how do i avoid re uh, when i'm doing reactions how do i avoid copyright claims and the answer is i don't it's impossible to i don't think anybody can avoid copyright claims and actually i don't think having all like pausing all the time like there's a lot of myths out there like oh, you pause a certain amount of time you're leaving up breaks and stuff that prevents mm -hmm. copyright claims i've never seen that before i think that youtube's algorithm is very very highly sophisticated and it's just it'll pick up on the songs and the music videos and all that stuff very 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 quickly so that being said there are ways to get around it and that's what we're going to talk about in this video so let me show you my screen let's see what we got all right so you can see my screen right now i just uploaded a video and i actually posted it because when i had right before i posted it there were no copyright claims but as soon as i posted it, for some reason i get to take a little bit longer for the process but what you'll see up here is these copyright important notifications right here you'll see that this is where the copyright claims come up so you can see that there's a lot and we're gonna go pretty in depth in this. And by the way, I wanna make a video on how I film all my reaction videos. So stay tuned to that. That's gonna be a really in depth video. Here we're just gonna talk about copyright claims. So when you upload a video and use somebody else's song, if they have some sort of copyright on it, and it gets claimed. YouTube is very, very smart in it. It knows. It very much knows. Like I'll even put like a 20 second clip of my song in a video. Or actually, that's a bad example because I recently, maybe about a month ago, took off 100% copyrights of my songs on YouTube because I want other artists to use my songs for reactions mm -hmm. for their videos or anything like that. So I wanna avoid that because you know what? I'm relying on other artists right now to make my income by doing reactions to their stuff. So other smaller artists wanna use my songs, then cool, man. I'm totally for it. So I'm not even gonna ask for the money. That being said, Let's talk about this right now. So when you upload a video, it gets claimed. There's, there's three main different types of claims. There's, there's an actual copyright claim, which just makes it ineligible for uh, for, for making. I really a wish I had it. See, like I feel like having my face in the video would allow me to uh, get away with this better. But without my face, I don't know what to do. I don't even know if I'm allowed to watch this video right now. But I don't want to get claimed, and I'm sorry if somebody finds this and notes i don't want to be claimed i just want to be able to uh have a documentation like i don't even want to make money off of this channel any any money i make off of any other channel like anything on youtube would be made on a different channel this is just to show everything that i go through in order to make future videos like i would like to do more gaming content and I would like to do philosophy reading content and uh, actor real personality type style content. Like, you know what I'm talking about? And also maybe reaction style content. But also I want to show people what I watch on YouTube and uh, I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like it's pertinent to show, but I just feel like it is. And I would like to know how people get away with it. So that's why I'm watching this video, and I'm sorry. I don't know if I have fair use. Please don't hurt me. I'm the smallest of creators with 17 subs that I don't even know where they came from over the years. My ad one is it's a bit blocked, but this is something that I just recently learned. So let's go into here, and I'll show you what it looks like. If you say view options, important. This is, this is where you can kind of go in. So the video can't be monetized because the content ID claims. That's what they got. It's very safe and smart, man. How they get on it. So what you can do though is you can actually go in and dispute the claims. So I'll show you what I have in my thing, how I dispute them. So right now I, this video is viewable, but it can't be uh, monetized. Watch well, what happens. I'm gonna go my notes really quick. I'm gonna copy my thing because I have a thing right now. I'll put it in the description actually. So copy it. Okay. Now I'll put it in my description before. Maybe I'll put it in the comment. So I hit dispute. I say my dispute is based on. I would look these over, make sure that's not the case. I personally say no because I know they're not. I go for fair use because reaction videos and, and, and explanations and breakdowns are fair use. I don't know about reactions actually, but the breakdowns are fair use. I hit this. And then I, I copy paste my thing. You can hear Bullet, my dog, is saying what's up to the. Oh my gosh, he's freaking out the, the mailman right now. Um, he's a very nice dog, which is funny, but here we go. So, so now I click all these things. So I could see so if you go here, there's a whole bunch of different options actually. There's like uh, promotional videos, news reports, nonprofit. It, it, depending on also what else, how it gets claimed. For example, this one's for sharing. If you do covers, uh, it'll identify as saying, oh, we use, you use the melody in this other song in a different video or in your video. And when you do that, down here will be one called uh, uh, a cover video. So what you're doing is you're saying is that, that you believe that you shouldn't have the uh, copyright claim, and what you're doing is you're sending it to the other the company, such as whoever the claimer is. Whether it, now obviously I wouldn't as a musician get it, but the, if, I, if I had my copyright claim, the uh, company that is doing the claim, like it's the publisher, maybe whatever the case is, they would get the claim and they would have to dispute it, or they would have to either allow it or disallow it. So you provide your rationale, you hit submit, it takes, it takes a decent amount of time, but then I'll show you now what it looks like when it when, when it goes through. So here's what happens with monetization. See now it's held in escrow. So there's three options right here. One, it automatically turns on because if you just dispute, it, sometimes they allow you just to turn it right on and you can start making money. Two, it goes in escrow. What that means is it's held for 28 days or until they just uh, um, answer your dispute. So if it, actually 30 days, if, if they don't respond in 30 days, no response, then automatically turns on. If they do respond and allow it, then you get to keep the money. If you, they, they respond and say no, sorry, you can't use this, then two things, one of two things will happen. Either the video will get blocked, which happens. I posted 1,200 reaction videos. And I think three of them end up getting blocked after the fact. And then, uh, or four, or third, or three, whatever the other option number was, it'll go just become ineligible and you just can't make money on it. I've noticed that I think, if we can go to my content right now, I think that I've had of all my videos, I would say, look, so you can look at these right now. All these are on because some of these weren't, weren't uh, disputed and some of them didn't have claims. Or I waited. If you wait the amount of time, if you want to be sure, sometimes what else happens? Sometimes it'll just become ineligible, but like it'll then be allowed. So sometimes if you want to be the patient, you can wait, wait until you get a response and you can start making money right off the bat. So here, let me just see these are in escrow right here. But let me show you one that is not. So we'll go to this live over here. I know this one specifically isn't. This one right here. There's a couple ineligible, ineligible. They were just denied, ineligible. So for whatever reason, they were just denied. So I would say at least 85% end up being allowed and then maybe 15%. So every, no, maybe 20% are get, get disallowed this, this and ineligible. It depends on the content though. So I don't know the answer why some are allowed and smart, but that's very important. And even if the video gets blocked, this is super important. I just realized this and I hope you guys stay the whole thing. What's really important is if the video gets blocked, you can still dispute it. And if you wait two days, 48 hours, it actually becomes unblocked until uh, they respond to your dispute. Because it could be like a false block, an unintentional block. So hope you guys enjoyed that. Let me know in the comments if you did, if you want, if you need any more information, if you have Okay, he didn't really talk about how to avoid it or like 
I don't really know what else is on his channel. Let's see. All right, so this is uh, Jacob Restitudo. He's more than music. Uh, so he makes music and he makes a bunch of shorts. Uploads as live stream. So he live streams quite often. Let's go to a random one. Good morning. How are you doing? It is a beautiful day to be alive. It has been, oops, I, I just saw the last time I went live was May 14th. Uh, so that is about I mean, over a month and 10 days ago. Wow, I apologize. I hope you're doing well. It is a good day to be alive. Today we're getting some work done. Figured I would get some work done with you guys in the studio. Let's see, uh, let's go to my page over here. Let's just let's see how it looks. Okay, he's doing a similar thing to what I would like to do. Here. Yeah, looks good. Wow, there we go. All right, so uh, what's up, uh, Nivitha? Is that how you pronounce your name? Nivitha? Hope you're well. All right, we are working on, here, let me open up. Oh, I was heavy. Yeah, let me charge this iPad. Let me show you my screen in a second. We are working on some performance videos. What's up, Niv? How you doing? You know what? It's good to be back and hanging out with you guys. I miss going live. I should need to get back to it more often. What's up, Harold? What's up, Nick? How are you guys all doing? Okay. I don't know when the last time this coffee was used, but we're going to get the coffee. What's up, Roy? How are you guys? Man, it's good to be back. It's good to be back hanging out with you guys in the live stream. We're going to be editing some videos. What's up, Niv? Hmm. So he just shows himself editing. That's really cool. That's really neat. It's extremely neat. I don't really have much else to say about that right now. This man is doing a lot of stuff I'd like to be doing. So, like an hell yeah. On his farm, he has a farm. Jake, we're doing drawing services going on. We got a little more parsley going on. Italian parsley. We got lemon thyme in there. We already did uh, Greek thyme what? and English thyme. Rosemary over here. And now we're making lunch. Some Swiss chard. Looks amazing. This is like a week and a half. Oh, this is a little over a week old. I just ripped it all. That's why it's like that. But it looks amazing for being in the fridge for a week. I'm actually really happy with that. Have a little coconut shrimp. We're gonna make a salad. So we get some lettuce. Oh, what's crazy? Like this is still what I have. Like this is the thyme I use. This is the lemon thyme. Like, it's still a bunch. This is the parsley. Crazy. These are the carrots over here. Getting huge. Oh these my god. Dogs. Some dog food. Thank you, bullet. Let's see if we got any beans going on today. Any beans today? Any beans? Oh, 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 there we go. Bean. Hell yeah. Bean. Oh, we got another yellow bean. Oh, that's a big yellow bean. Look at this yellow bean. Look at that guy. Which beans are going? This is cool as hell. I'm pausing for a while to make sure that uh, I'm allowed to be doing this. I don't know what I'm allowed to do. Ah. I'm so sorry. Let's go over here. So look at this graphic warning. If you're not, there's a little bit of a graphic warning here. Look at this carcass. So miraculously, I come in here a couple. Of, it's actually really pretty. See, it's everything. Like a dinosaur. So I come in here a couple days ago. And I just find a dead rabbit chilling right there, completely dead, right there. It's funny because like dude, something was eating all my stuff, and now it's dead right in front of all this stuff. And I'm like, I'm gonna leave them there for all of the other, all of the other rabbits. So no, don't mess with my stuff. My spinach is getting huge. I gotta trim it. It's falling on the other stuff. Jeez, I gotta trim this spinach ASAP. Crazy, it's falling over. Look at this. This is spinach. Oh my gosh, spinach is overload, guys. Oh my gosh, these are potatoes that go around. Look at the lettuce. They're turning into trees. I got lettuce trees going on. What is going on? Anyone else ever get caffeine anxiety? Where you drink too much caffeine, you feel like you're having anxiety, but when you actually think about like what you're anxious about, that you're not actually anxious, it's just the caffeine. I can relate. Yo, look at this. Here I am eating my salad. I got a little friend from the garden. I rinsed the salad. I washed the salad, but a little, uh, it's a little buddy. Uh, you see a little hand? <laughs> Yo, uh, what's up, bud? Okay, let's set you free outside. Let's come up for a ride. Oh, I've heard that word. Be free. Not gonna lie, it's kind of gross. All right, let's work on some music. We'll wait for Fam Chat to open up. First Fam Chat probably like six months. Let's get it go. All right, just finished sending out 40 messages to different uh, restaurants. I'm putting the grind in, baby. Why are they responding? Let's take bullet for a walk and try to songwrite on the walk. Yo, can I tell you something? I am wearing brand new white shoes. And I'm so freaking out about destroying them, man. It's so funny. I uh, was just walking on grass. I'm like every step. I'm like, ooh, ooh, be careful, be careful. Like ran. It's literally the second time I wore them. And only the times when I put the gig on Sunday. It's so funny, man. All right, we got two destinations tonight. One is my cousin's birthday. definitely have gay voice i'm just mm -hmm. constantly going out in auditions and bombing them because of the sound of my voice like i went over this one audition and the character we all have habits some are good habits some are bad habits some habits we want to break but we keep repeating the same mistake over and over and over again why do i do the same things over and over
love this channel. Love, love, love this channel. Seen that, seen that, different account. Or my hot history was paused for some reason. Love this channel. I'd like to do a uh, series in which I uh, go through and watch all of uh, the Vlogbrothers and talk about like what their cultural significance is in a larger spectrum but I'd also like to show and document the process of doing that as its own little thing here but I don't know what I'm allowed to do. I wish I really knew what I was allowed to do. That really uh, irritates me that I didn't get very far today. But, uh, oh. Because if I can figure it out, I'll just go ahead and start watching videos in the, in the night and talk about them while I'm going. If I knew I was allowed to. But, no. I don't think I will tonight. Eh, much love. Much love. Much love. Could be. I could play, uh. No, no, no. I need to save my energy and play, uh, something tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Bye.